Welcome to the Online Success Journey Podcast, your opportunity to discover and learn from entrepreneurs like yourself. This is not your typical podcast, but a place where you can get the real story and find out how real people encounter speed bumps and detours, but journey through to find success. Now here's your host for the Online Success Journey Podcast, Patience. Hello everyone and welcome to Online Success Journey. This is episode 43. Are you ready to join the clan? Today we have Jason Trey. He's an author, executive coach, and a sales trainer. He's a leading expert on human behavior, daring leadership, and influence. At the heart of his strategy is to understand that people and your relationships are your true wealth. Everything we accomplish in life is with or through other people. Hello, Jason. Hello. Thank you for having me on your show and and speaking to your fantastic tribe. (laughs) Thank you for coming. Okay. Uh, Jason, I know the clan here is anxious to hear about your stories. Let's get started with the basic ones. Tell us your background and what you did before you were online. Sure. So what I did uh, originally was I went to law school. I got my master's in communications and I decided to not practice law. And I went out to Silicon Valley and I worked as a marketing executive and I got to work with great people like Steve Jobs and Mark Cuban and a lot of other pretty high profile execs. And then, you know, I decided that really wasn't where I wanted my life to be was in corporate America, and I started to do coaching on the side um, as a side hustle. And then, you know, later on, I went on went into it full full time, and you know, that's what lands me here today. Wow, what a background! So, I had a pass connect with you. Tell us one thing: is a business or a personal thing that we want to know about you? Uh, Well, I'm really passionate about people. So human behavior is something that's near and dear in my heart because I'm an extrovert. So I learned a lot of what I know from actually doing things and going out and meeting people. And, you know, I moved I've moved around uh, the country here in the U.S. And I didn't really know people from city to city that I met, but I've met a lot of people in each city. And it's something that I'm really passionate and that I enjoy doing. Ah, okay. And now you are successful. Did you have any problems starting out on coaching or to your own business online? <laughs> well, initially, I mean, I just had an idea, concept of what I wanted to do. So I was really helping um, friends who had other friends and another friend who was having some challenges moving from one big city to another. So that was where I started out at. So I just was helping people. And then I realized that they were really successful with the things that I were telling them, that actually there may be a business here. So what I did was I approached a friend of mine who had an existing coaching business, more in the lifestyle arena. And I was, you know, now I do more business coaching with just a concept, an idea of how to create a great social life in 30 days or less. And I started out with a real, that concept and sold it on it. And we did some products and some other things initially together. And, uh, you know, from there, um, it just was a challenge because while we were making money, it wasn't enough for me to leave my full-time job. Mm-hmm. So ultimately, I had to make a decision to part ways with him. Um, and then uh, writing my own book and starting my you know, current business. But it was a very windy road in some dark days and a lot of challenges along the way in order to get where I am today. Why human behavior? Uh, well, I mean, I love relationships. At the end of the day, when you're coaching people, you have to like understand um, how you can interact with other people in order to be successful. So the challenge is if you can start to understand people's behavior, their emotions, um, and that will really make a significant difference in how successful you are in life. Uh, Do you have like a different clientele you work with or you just work with everyone from beginners to advanced? Which are you? Well, my coaching clients um, are a little bit different. So my coaching clients are really starting at a, you know, typical in a company, either director or vice president level. And entrepreneurs um, that have probably at least a you know $250,000 business and upwards from there. Um, so that's because that's where I find people really can use these skills and help along the way the most. And 
that's uh, that's where I work. But I have a book, and I'm going to be coming out with a product later. And that's really for anyone, right? My book, Social Wealth, is applicable for anyone, whether they're beginners, whether they're introverts, what no matter where they're at. And that's something that, uh, you know, I'm going to design a product that's going to be built around that as well, really helping anyone. Uh, did you always want to become an author, or how did that come up? Actually, I've always loved writing, but I never really thought about being an author. Um, it actually, the reason I originally thought about writing and I wrote my first book um, was because it was easier for me to start to do that, to be able to come up with the concepts of this business, right? I actually had to put it down on paper so I could actually physically see what I had and the knowledge inside my head. So a lot of that was something that, you know, I really started at that point. And then after my first book that I did with someone else, I mean, it was decently successful, but not that successful. And so the second time I really was like, okay, I really want to write a best selling book. And so I did a lot of research on the book and talked to hundreds of people and talked to probably about 40 or 50 very successful entrepreneurs. And, um, that's how I, and I realized and I started to figure out how to market the book and do stuff as a self-published author and spent a lot of time on that. And that was really kind of, you know, I went all in on it and I didn't know if it was going to be successful or not, but the first book I didn't really go in, all in on because I didn't know enough about what I was doing. And then second of all, I probably just didn't delve deep enough into the marketing side of it and how to really make it successful. But the second time around, I really did. And I really looked and spent probably six months understanding how to market it and who to talk to and all the rest of the things that were necessary to really propel the book to where it is today. Wow. I know that Clan is anxious here about how you got through in part two, but for now, tell us what do you think is the reason for your online success or your book success? Um, I would say that probably the biggest reason for the success, um, really is perseverance, right? And determination and a lot of work ethic. And I was working many days, seven days a week, you know, going and doing things that I had no idea were going to work. In fact, you know, last April I had done a few podcasts, but really not that many. And I decided to go and saying, and I looked at experts, right. And I looked at what they were doing and I said, okay, I am going to get on a lot of podcasts. And so, you know, as of today, I've almost been on a hundred podcasts and that's, you know, in less than a year, right? And a lot of that is I did that all on my own and I didn't spend a dime. I booked my own shows. I did everything myself for most of the 80% of those. So it's just, you have to work hard and really work long and look at success. The other thing I did was I did spend some money and money I really didn't have on getting coaching and getting help from other experts because people have done everything you want to do. You have to go out and get help because if you try to do everything yourself, it's not going to be successful. Probably the third thing that was really helpful um, as well was I spent a lot of time building relationships. And so I did meet people that did help me along the way. And that was very helpful. But, you know, I also helped people as well. So, um, but that's... You know, those are, I think, some of the keys. But again, I think it really goes down to willingness and determination and perseverance to get through it. And if you do that, you'll ultimately find success. Now, it may take a while. Um, you know, I started out on this journey probably five, six years ago. And it really hasn't been probably in the last you know, year that I've had way more success. So it took a long time. Um, for me to get where I am right now, it wasn't something that I flipped a switch and all of a sudden, you know, money started flowing in and I was being successful. Wow. So if you are telling someone who is starting, it's just to hang in there? <laughs> yes. I think a lot of it's hanging in there because mm -hmm. here's, if you, if you look at successful entrepreneurs and I study them and I've talked to hundreds of them, what you'll find is that when I've asked them the question, out of every 10 things that you try the first time, how many of them are you successful? And they're successful, um, they fail actually at a rate of five to seven out of every 10 things they try. So they're failing most of the time. They're not succeeding. So that's really one of the challenges. And so I think that what you have to do is realize that you're going to fail a lot, but the important thing is to learn the lesson from that failure. What did that failure tell you? And then what you do is you take that lesson and you move forward. What a lot of people do is they fail and they give up because they look at everything in life as either being, it either works or it doesn't. And that's not life, right? Most things, the issue is 
you just don't have it right completely, right? You may be partly right, but you're not 100% there. And the way that you do that is learn the lesson and then keep moving forward. Okay. So where do we find this book, Jason? It's on Amazon. It's called Social Wealth. And, you know, it's got about, I think, 125, 130 five-star reviews. And I've sold, I think, around 36,000 copies so far since September of 2014. And so it's... Uh, it's helped a lot of people build really successful personal and professional relationships. And I tried to make the book as a how-to guide, something that would be simple and really act as a blueprint that if anyone followed it, they could be very successful. And they could be successful enough that they would never actually have to speak to me in order to, to do that, right? So I didn't use the book as a marketing ploy to sell more coaching or sell future products. I sold it because I wanted to have a standalone thing that anyone in the world could use this book and really have something that they could really create an extraordinary life with. Wow. Okay. Kalan, Jason is going to hang out and share more information about his journey with us. If you can relate to where Jason started his travel so far, or if you just want to learn more about Jason, you can listen to the extended version of his journey at onlinesuccessjourney.com. If you are there, journey, by clicking on part two of Jason's journey, you'll get even more tips to help you with your own online journey and access to all our journey podcast. Clan, that's a wrap. So check out Jason's book at uh, Amazon called the Social Wealth. And uh, you can pick it from there. If you want it to be coached by him, you can go there and uh, give him a call. Where do we find you? Yeah, you can go to beextraordinary.tv. That's be extraordinary TV. Okay, that's a wrap clan. Remember, success is a journey. Patience and Jason, join us in part two at online successjourney.com. This is not the end of the journey. We hope you've enjoyed listening to part one and want to be sure you know there is a second part to this and every journey podcast at online successjourney.com. Filled with even more success tips uplifting stories, and even a bit of fun, there are dozens of episodes only available to the members of the Online Success Journey Clan. Check out the website and click on Join the Clan for more information. Patience would like to thank you for listening to this podcast, and she has a free audio gift for you at her website. Go to OnlineSuccessJourney.com for instant access to this gift. Of course, you know that listening to the journeys of others helps each of us chart our own path. So make sure you're subscribed to be notified as each new interview is posted. There are so many ways to stay connected to the online success journey and to listen in. And if you're enjoying the podcast, we appreciate your help in telling others. One of the best ways to share the benefit you get is to rate and review it at Stitcher and other sites by clicking the stars or completing the ratings form by clicking the thumbs up and leaving a comment on YouTube or liking and sharing the podcast on social media. To review the podcast within iTunes, simply open iTunes to the podcast, click on ratings and reviews, then write a review. On behalf of Patience and until next time, thanks once more for listening. It is our hope that this podcast will guide you on your own online success journey.